What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Late night episode here going on in the garage. We have some Mustang news, but before we dive into some exciting mid-engine Mustang news coming in this video, some detailed discussion, what is Ford up to? A little bit of behind the scenes. Yes, we're still doing well. Yes, we're still making videos. It's been a few weeks since we've uploaded, but everything with our Supercharged S550 Mustang is perfectly fine. We have more content, more mods, and all that coming your way very soon. It's been really, really busy with life and everything else. I've uh, been doing a lot of other side projects, so making money, but I digress, guys. Diving into a mid-engine Mustang, Mustang. What is Ford doing? Well, we've got an article here from a trustworthy source, Ford Authority. All right, I'm going to go ahead and read everything on this article. It's really short and sweet, and then we're going to talk through it, and I'm going to let you know what I think, and let me know what you think, too, down in the comments below. Let's have a discussion. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. Here we go. We haven't done one of these in a while, these little talking head discussions, but you know, it's Mustang news and we got to get it out there. Everything has been all the craze. Everybody's been all over the S650 and customers are going to be getting their new Mustangs here hopefully soon. The S650, I have not seen one yet in person. I'm really looking forward to it. But the Dark Horse has been like all the craze, especially with the Dark Horse R that has now been debuted. But we have some exciting news. I'm going to read off of my little cheat sheet, which I'm going to link right down below so you can read it for yourself. But here we we go fordauthority.com ford to debut mid-engine mustang this thursday exclusive uh oh okay let's dive into it so just paint the canvas real quick so today is the 15th of august 2023 and this article is released or was released a few hours ago at about five o'clock this same day so the ford mustang lineup has never been stronger as uh, the recent motorsports push through special variants like the mustang dark horse r has demonstrated additionally the blue oval clearly intends to push boundaries as to what the mustang brand represents in the modern era with the upcoming mustang maki rally edition something interesting uh, serving as evidence that the company won't let its treasured nameplate stagnate so they want to continue to push the boundaries and explore different things all right that's always good especially with the challenger being dead and we're going away and the camaro dying off i mean mustang is in the game and it looks like they're there to stay so that's going to leave us into some discussion coming up in just a couple of minutes but so later this week the company is planning on essentially doubling down on ethos with plans to debut the first ever mid-engine Mustang, according to sources familiar with this matter. Hmm. Now, it's about to get interesting. As a matter of fact, the upcoming mid-engine Mustang has already been shown to a select group of individuals in Las Vegas who got to see the vehicle yesterday, August 14th, 2023. Interesting, that happened yesterday. It's a little secret squirrel action going on. So, man, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall in that room. The public reveal will occur this Thursday at a special event in Pueblo Beach, California. Sources say the vehicle will be built by Multimatic and it will be a Mustang branded vehicle, but does not utilize the S650 platform. So this is gonna be a whole new variant. It's gonna have the Mustang nameplate and some variation. We have the Mach-E. So could this be something else other than a Mustang? Could it be something superior? Aside from the current drop of specialty Mustang products, Multimatic built the Ford GT and currently builds the Ford Bronco DR. It is currently not clear if this Mustang branded product is based on the GT, but our sources say the company essentially considers it to be a supercar, a mid-engine Mustang variant supercar coming to debut in a couple of days. Guys, get ready. All right, as Ford Authority has previously outlined, a mid-engine Mustang would add another Mustang branded vehicle to Multimatic's obligations to Ford and its customers. The Ford Mustang GT3 and GT4 are built by the company as a relationship between Ford and Multimatic has expanded by a substantial margin in the recent years. This is fact. Demand for both vehicles has been higher than expected I would say so, considering the other muscle cars and sports cars are all dying off. Aside from a one-off concept vehicle created in the 1960s, 
there has never been a mid-engine Mustang. Now remember, let's sidetrack here a little bit. So let's think about like Corvette, for example, the C8 being mid-engine. We all know the story behind that. That was like a dream for like ever. They always wanted a mid-engine Corvette, but they never really wanted to put up the money to do that. It was just, it wasn't really feasible for a lot of different reasons until 2020, okay? And they finally did it. They brought forth a 2020 model mid-engine Corvette, and it has just been a game changer. And I think that this is gonna be something along those lines. So they mentioned supercar, we shall see. All right, finish up the article. We'll have more on the mid-engine Mustang soon, so subscribe to Ford Authority. Again, I'll link this article down below so you can read it for yourself. Uh, for the latest Mustang news and for continuous Ford news coverage, also subscribe here if you like this kind of talking head discussion. We're gonna deep dive into this thing just like we always do. And guys, if you are a Mustang fan, we have an ESS supercharged Mustang GT that we are heavily building, heavily modding, and more to come. More very, very soon, some exciting stuff. So make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure you turn your notification bell on down below so that you don't miss the upcoming videos and content so you can stay up to date. But anyway, I digress. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. So let's uh, pick up the camera. Let's just have a little bit of a talking head now at this point since we just read the article. What do I think and what do you think? I want to know what you think down below in the comments. Type, let's have a discussion, let's go. But as far as my thoughts, man, this is a game changer. It could be. So could this be an electric variation because they already have that. We have the Mustang Mach-E, which I don't think is a Mustang, but you know, I think Ford kind of wants to push off the Mustang brand, kind of separate it, if you will. So we've got the Mustang Coupe we've had forever, okay, since, you know, the 60s. Um, and now we have a Mustang that is electric, and it's an SUV. They call it the Mach-E. And uh, they are actually a ton of fun. If you've ever driven one, then you'll know. Maybe not as base form, but if you get behind the wheel of a performance package or whatever they have for the Mach-E, it's actually not terrible. But, in my opinion, it's still not a Mustang. But, it does carry the nameplate, and it helps the product sell. So, could Ford be releasing a supercar to consumers like you and me very soon? I certainly hope so. I love Mustang in all its form, all its history, all its glory, but I'm not opposed to seeing some kind of a supercar variation. And it's cool to see that, you know, Ford is thinking about different things. You know, how can we keep this, this, uh, this love, this um, energy going? for our Mustang community. So I think that Ford is on the right track. As far as the S650 goes, it's an evolution kind of to the S550. It's kind of an S550.2 or something like that. Anyway, and they have a new nameplate, the Dark Horse, which is kind of like an evolution of the Mach 1 that we just got with the S550. But I would expect that maybe we'll see like a Boss. We're definitely gonna probably see a GT500 on the S650 chassis, but it's cool to see that Ford is not stopping there. It seems like they want to go bigger. Go big or go home. Supercar? Mmm. Yes, I'm all about it. Now, <laughs> are we going to be able to afford one? Time will tell. Is this going to be like a track-only thing? I to be determined. Make sure, again, you are keeping up to date with the videos. We're going to explore this thing to death in detail just like we always have and we always will guys now what if it's a hybrid i mean i'm not against like hybrids i don't know that i'm there quite yet with full electric that's just kind of where i'm at right now i appreciate them but i don't think that they should be crammed down our throats like you know the world wants right but it seems like Things are kind of going that way. So, but I, I'm open to the fact of like, let's do a hybrid, you know? Uh, we got them in the trucks, you know, hybrid technology has been around for a long time. Could this be something like that? Could this be like a mid-engine, okay, with an electric motor on the front axle, you know, giving more power? Could this be the all-wheel drive Mustang that we all thought was coming? It didn't make its way to the S650, but maybe Ford was saving it for uh, this other project. So I'm excited. I hope that you're excited. Um, I really don't know what to say or what we can speculate on. I think it'd be cool to have some kind of a hybrid technology. 
or a big motor V8, or maybe even something, you know, bigger, maybe like a V10, something like that. I don't know. Ford's got the money. They've got the resources to do this. It would be really cool to see if they can put it to practice and put it in development and then somehow make it somewhat affordable for regular consumers. That'd be really cool to see. I would definitely own If you've never driven a, a mid-engine like car, they're the balance they're just so great like the c8 is is a phenomenal car for what it is you know and there's other mid-engine cars that are out there have been for a long time that are really good performance machine they're just amazing so could we see some kind of a mustang nameplate supercar coming in the next couple of years maybe sooner than later i don't know I would love to see it and I would love to be able to drive one and maybe own one if we can afford it. But guys, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about this article? What do you think Ford is up to? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. Take care. Have a great day. Good night.